left, 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 right, left. Hey, lunch with bomb back in the house. Topic of the day is left, 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 right, left. Have a system and follow the system. All right. Hey, uh, if you come on, drop a one if you're watching live, uh, two if you're watching the replay, and if you're a first timer, who's this crazy guy lunch with bomb? Drop a three down below. Uh, I would love to connect with you. And like always, if you value what I got going on, uh, drop me some thumbs up, some hearts. I got my Insta Live going, got my Facebook Live going. Uh, if uh, you value what I got going on, please like and share. Uh, we got tons of stuff. Uh, just a couple quick announcements before I get into uh, the, my left, 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 right, left topic. Uh, is, um, you know, my name is Frank Baumholtz. been a high school strength coach and PE teacher for 21 years. Uh, run my own gym, MVP. And, you know, I started doing these a while back. If I could, you know, breathe a little positivity into somebody's life, just maybe one of my kids or athletes or clients a day or even a week or even one person. If I could just connect with one person a year, you know, I made it worth, you know, everything is worth doing what I do. You know, when that light bulb finally comes on, uh, that's where the magic happens, right? One of my favorite things is when I'm teaching and coaching uh, and even with my clients is when I see my, my students or my clients or my athletes coaching other student clients and athletes. That's when you know you're making an impact and the system is working and they're following through because it's not just me that's doing the coaching. When the kids start coaching kids and the clients start coaching clients and they're building a sense of community, that's when you truly know things are, uh, things are happening. But I wanna do, uh, just drop a couple of quick announcements uh, before, you know, like I, I mentioned on all my, my things going on, you know, if you haven't seen what we got going on over at MVP, uh, jump over to my MVP performance training page with our baseball and softball performance training, our basketball skills training, our adult group training, as well as our sport performance strength and conditioning programs. You know, we got stuff running uh, daily. So uh, jump over and check that stuff out. But anyway, topic today is left, 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 right, left. You know, the biggest thing is that people don't follow a system, right? They don't, they don't plan. And, you know, I wrote some notes to myself because I said, why do, why do most people fail? Why do most people fail when they're, when they're trying to, whether it, you know, I live in the fitness world and the strength world, being at school, you know, they can't meet their goals. Uh, they fail at their nutritional plan. They fail at their workout plan. The biggest thing is number one, they don't understand. You don't, people don't understand behavioral change, how behavioral change truly works. All right. Uh, they don't, they don't have a coach, you know, someone that they could, you know, help push them through when times get tough. They, they definitely don't have a community, you know, a group of people that they can surround themselves with, that they can, uh, you know, connect with. The shoot this morning, you know, we get up at, uh, you know, 4.15, roll into the gym. You know, I got a 5.30 a.m. session at MVP. There's a group of people there that, uh, you know, they kind of connect. You know, all right, who's doing this? Who's doing this? Some days the workouts are all together, but sometimes the clients are doing different things and it's kind of a bunch of moving parts going on. But there's a sense of community. They can connect with each other. You know, if they, then there's a lot of days where you show up, shoot, I, how many of you have showed up to the gym and you're like, there's no way it's happening today? Well, if you have somebody to lean on and somebody to help you say, hey, we're working out today, we're gonna make this thing happen, then it's easier to push through and make those things happen. You know, it's like I was using my left, 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 right, left, because like, you know, in the military, it's like they got they get a rhythm, right? They get a group of guys all beaten to the same drum, to the same rhythm, they all connect. They, when you're around, when you're around somebody over and over and over again, you know, you start figuring out how they click, how they tick, what makes them, what gets them fired up. Right, so when you connect with someone, you you understand like you can see somebody walk in the room and know right away uh, that they're having a bad day, and you can connect with them. Hey, man, what's up? You know, you you know right away if you if you're around folks, you you start figuring out what they're what they're all about, right? So you know the the biggest thing about behavioral change is picking one thing at a time. Now I wanted to just share a few things that I'm doing with uh, just my my personal MVP and coaching stuff. Whether you're a client at MVP, uh, I've got a bunch of folks that are taking advantage of my MVP online right now with my online coaching programs, and I've got people all over the place that are uh, Arizona, uh, Texas, uh, Hawaii, you know, even here in Oregon, a little bit separate from where I'm at, but they can't come, they can't get to where I'm at. Uh, in McMinnville and but they're still taking advantage of texting me uh, making sure that uh, they're checking my MVP online page 
and they can see what the workout is for the day, what the nutritional plan is today, what the accountability is, because that's the biggest piece. That's the biggest piece that people don't have accountability. Somebody that's there, somebody that's there. Shoot, I have clients that show up to MVP. They're not gonna, they're not gonna food journal. They're just gonna show up and they're gonna tell me, "Hey, Bob, what am I doing today?" And I'm like, "All right, this is what we're doing today. Have a plan and work the plan." So I just wanted to share a couple things. Now you won't be able to see these things, but because it'll be backwards to you, but uh, I have my MVP transformation plan, uh, and you know this is something that's been in the works for uh for quite a while and it just kind of a it takes you through some general guidelines about you know being consistent what's your effort look like um you know get better every single day you know some of it's more the mental approach to what you do every day whether it's your work whether it's your workout whether it's your nutrition okay you know and then it's talking about you know how do i how do i accomplish my goals you know here's a here's one use the following to help set your goals um you know, when you're writing goals, you know, I want to, I want to accomplish this by, to fill my goal, I will, I can visualize myself doing X, right? So all of these are like mindset things and, you know, shifting the way that you look at things in order to accomplish what your goal is. And, you know, a lot of folks, they might think about it, they might want to do it, but they just don't know how to do it. And so understanding how behavioral change works and putting the thought down on paper helps you to get from A to B, A to Z, one to a hundred, whatever it might be, right? And then I go on to talk about, you know, I uh, give some general meal plan ideas. You know, I'm not a dietitian or nutritionist, so I can't like give like, hey, here's the meal plan, you know, that uh, somebody needs to eat, but I can give you general guidelines and, uh, you know, kind of give you some ideas on how to do the things that you're doing. You know, here's some different, uh, uh, well, one of my favorite ones in here, uh, well, you won't be able to see it, but it's a, uh, it's a shopping list, you know, kind of a how-to, you know, when you go to the grocery store, you know, how are you, um, you know, how are you going to shop? You know, are you always shopping in the middle aisles where all the process and box things are? Or are you shopping around the perimeter where all the fresh uh, produce, fruits, vegetables, lean meats, all that stuff is always around the perimeter, right? Stay away from the middle aisles where things are in uh, packages or boxes, all right? That's kind of one of my face. And also talks about like, you know, you know, how can I spend, you know, 10, 10 to $20 on fruits and vegetables, you know, lean proteins, you know, have a kind of an idea. A lot of folks just, you know, if, how many of you have ever gone to the grocery store hungry and you came home and you're like, geez, it's like I went to Costco and I dropped like 600 bucks, right? So you got to have a plan. You got to work that plan. And I've got several different, uh, I'm not just going to show you a couple things that I'm using with folks in my, my programs, but we have um, just an accountability sheet. You know, it talks about nutrition. It talks about our, uh, how much water hydrated we're staying, you know, and then just some check marks about like, you know, no sugars, no fried foods, stay away from the white stuff. You know, am I exercising? You know, if you are about measurements, you want to get better at something, you got to measure it, right? I'm not a big like weight guy or things like that. So we don't check our weight all the time, but you know, checking my clothes, checking my measurements and things like that, but it just has a simple checklist, you know, every single day. And you know, it goes all the way through 90. All right, I got three pages of this. So when someone comes into one of our programs, you know, they start writing things down. Here's what day one looks like. Here's what day two looks like. And over time, uh, you know, you're able to track. We're, we're creatures of habit. All right, actually a couple of my clients, they're all into this, uh, I don't, you know, I don't wear a watch, but they're into the, uh, the iWatch deal, and it tracks. Uh, uh, one of my guy, Timmy, he's smashing it. He actually has from when he started way back in the fall, each month on how he's progressed, and it will track all of his activity uh, that he does. And then it's like, started out really small, and then now he's got the circles that are all filled up, right? So, but it, we're all about like, you know, where we're going from A to B. And the thing is, if you want to get better at something, you got to measure it, and you got to track it, right? So, you know, like I mentioned, I've got my MVP uh, transformation plan. We have our accountability sheets, you know, how we're progressing. One of my other favorite ones is just another journal, uh, you know, my MVP Fit in 18, uh, just some guidelines. You know, I think one of the biggest things that people don't do is they don't tell themselves how much they love them. You know, and it sounds kind of silly, but if you don't love yourself, you'll never take care of yourself. So one of the things is uh, I have just some guidelines here that I run folks through when they start our program. You know, number one, the goal is to keep the goal the goal, right? So, you know, step one, I always tell people, pick one thing out that you love about yourself and tell it to yourself every single day. It might be your eyes, it might be your hair, it might be the blouse you're wearing, it might be the new shoes that you got. Just pick one thing. It doesn't matter what it is. 
pick one thing that you tell yourself every single day that how much you love yourself or what you love about yourself and you'll be amazed at the change in your thinking and how you apply yourself into what you're doing uh, and then just some other basic nutritional things like you know drink more water uh, eat real food if it's in a package or a box don't eat it you know eat more lean protein more than you're eating now eat your fruits and vegetables those things are free game you know if you're truly trying to lose weight you know processed starchy boxed foods you know avoid that stuff like the plague your your fried things your potato chips your those kinds of things you know don't do that the goal is to keep the goal the goal right uh, you know like I mentioned fruits and vegetables you know we don't get enough people don't get enough you know look at the color of your plate you know is it red green purple orange you know bright green leafy vegetables dark colors right you know a lot of people look at their plate and it's white yellow brown you know there's nothing in it so the biggest thing for you is that you gotta ha eat a colorful plate use the rainbow make sure that that's what it looks like right and then fill in the gaps where you're deficient we have a great nutritional product I tell all my clients go get your blood work checked you know how do I know I can't make you know medical claims or you know anything like that or medical recommendations but I can tell you to go get your blood work check see your doctor and then you'll know uh, you know we live in the northern hemisphere the uh, the Sun is trying to pop out but we're still rain hail shoot back east it's snowing it's crazy right anybody north knows you know struggling with vitamin D you know a lot of our gals are dealing with iron and calcium and other things guys we got all kinds of other issues you know I talk to people daily about high blood pressure high cholesterol you know dealing with gout you know all kinds of internal issues that could be simply changed by a little bit of good nutrition right and then try to make sure one of the things that I fail at is I try to you know I try to get as much sleep as I can but you know getting that six to eight hours shoot for that eight hour mark you know eight hours of sleep every single day right you know most folks aren't and so that one of the things my one of my flaws is you know I don't get enough of that so you know big thing is is try to do that so you know as you go through you got to have a plan and you got to work the plan I think a lot of people is uh, you know they have nothing so what's what's coach bomb all about right I'm all about action you know transformation Tuesday how about take action Tuesday you know if you need a plan you want a plan you know click the link up in my bio check out what I got going on you know if you need if you ready for a little transformation that's what I'm here I'm a teacher and a coach I'm here to help you you know I can't help you if you don't want to help yourself right so I got my transformation plan we have daily uh, daily tracking sheets we have daily journals I've got other online uh, forums that uh, that I mentioned whether you're using an iWatch you're using my fitness pal well, we can connect and link with those things connect yourself with MVP and MVP online so that you have the uh, the safety net the community the people behind you you know if you need a coach give me a holler that's what I'm here for right you know I, I was I'm doing my workout this morning I did a little workout at MVP hit another workout when I got to school uh, I started a little run this morning up and down the stairs check out my insta live talking about it is I it, it's taken me to 45 years old to figure out and to be in the best shape of my life and it's because I committed to the things that I talk about I what I do what I do is exactly what I coach and I teach all right I, I'm a big believer in practice what you preach okay and if you wanna if you wanna have something that you never have you need to do something you never done right I said it this morning too. one of my clients definition of insanity always doing the same thing over and over again thinking you're gonna get a different result so what you're doing isn't working change all right you have the power to do it you have the power to do it all right I'm fired up it's a Tuesday what's your excuse all right your why has got to be bigger than your excuse so there's no excuses there's too much good information out there there's there's too much good nutrition out there there's too many good workout programs out there for you not to do it all right even yesterday I mentioned give me 30 minutes give me 30 minutes every single day I don't care if it's a, a short walk if it is a workout it's a metabolic it's I'm gonna run on the treadmill I'm, I'm gonna go get up get off the couch quit eating your potato chips drink drinking soda and making excuses why you can't do it okay I'm I'm here for you I value every single one of you if you got like I said if you value what I got going on drop me some love drop me some hearts I'm losing my voice because I'm so fired up I've been coaching all day already so uh, we're gonna get after this thing if uh, you need anything drop me a comment shoot me a message and of course you gotta love when mom comes on love you mom can't wait to see you guys again all right hearts back to you okay you guys have a great rest of your day I am going to continue to go be fired up the rest of the day, molding the minds of the American youth and inspiring the people that want to be inspired. So once again, talk to you soon.